and welcome to this month's Pioneer Update. We hope this update will encourage you and serve you and strengthen you. The reality is we are going through so much change right now and we are losing much and we are gaining much. For some of you watching, you may have experienced the painful loss of loved ones. For others watching, there is some grieving over much hoped for and longed for and anticipated moments of celebration. I know weddings are being postponed and graduation ceremonies are being cancelled. Maybe babies are being born into uh, your families and you're not able to cuddle them and see them for weeks or even months. So there is real loss. And uh, maybe for some of us as well, we're really missing some of the things that we just love the most about church life, the sense of connection to community, the gathering with loads of people in a room and singing our hearts out in worship to the King of Kings and, and what that does for us and laying hands on each other and being able to pray for and minister to each other, sitting around a table with our small group and, and having food together, the parties, the fun, the celebrations. We miss so much of church life and yet we're gaining so much as well. For many of us, um, we've carried that real sense of there is more that God is wanting to do in our nation and our nations. I can only speak for the UK, but there's been this growing burden for another great awakening. I know I've preached on it and I've prayed for it and I've longed for it. And perhaps what we're seeing now is an answer to some of those prayers. You know, here in the UK, before lockdown, 6% of the UK population attended church or were part of church. Since lockdown, 25%, a quarter of the UK population has accessed church online. There's a huge spiritual hunger that we are seeing. One in five of those tuning in, the 25% have not been to church before. Once upon a time, church gatherings happened at a certain time, in a certain building, uh, often on a Sunday, and if you missed it, you missed it for a whole week. Now, church is open all day, every day, 24-7, and people are finding God, finding hope, finding life, finding encouragement. The blessing has gone viral, over two million views at the last count. So over the coming weeks, we're going to be sharing some of the ideas and the thinking that is coming out across the network of what what we do with this church growth that, uh, that has begun to happen and what we might look like coming out of lockdown, realising that mission has to be the way, the principle as to how we do church. So we're going to all obviously be coming up with different, different ways, with different contexts, with different sizes, with different cultures. What works for one church won't work for another, but we want to, uh, to hear it all and cheer each other on. So what's coming up in this update? We are profiling Clo, the amazing coffee suppliers who served us at the Pioneer Leaders Conference. Because of our kingdom value, we want to see businesses not just survive, but to thrive at this time. So, so maybe you could consider sending a, a gift pack from the amazing um, business of Clo to someone in your community who needs some cheering up. Billy's going to share the amazing total of what we raised in the International Relief Fund. Rich will update us on training. We'll get a little update from the Wall of Answer Prayer and Lakunda will share her heart for worship. So, we hope you enjoy it. And over now to Nick and to Linda who are going to share a little bit with us about Chloe. Hey everyone. Hello. Uh, I'm Nick. And I'm Linda. And uh, we're from Clo Coffee and how things have changed since we were with you at the Pioneer Leaders Conference. I can't believe that was this year even when we were serving you coffee and uh, trying to keep up with the queues, which was great fun. Since then we've been, um, like everything, just way more online. We've been doing an online community group uh, for local, mostly customers and some people who buy online. We've been going live every morning at 11 and having some fun and uh, making a bit of coffee and a bit of mess. <laughs> Thanks for featuring us in the new Pioneer Update as Christians Running Business. Um, we just want to tell you a little bit about why we do what we do. You know, we um, love coffee, but we don't love it so much that that's the most important thing. The thing I think we're most passionate about is the fact that life can pass us by so easily, so quickly, without creating moments. 
And we're really excited by creating and helping people create moments either with each other or whether it's on your own or whether it's with you and just Jesus kind of creating those moments. And we think that just treating yourself to a really decent cup of coffee is, is a great kind of excuse to create a moment in the day and just give us a pause. And that's what we're kind of most excited about and why we do what we do. If you want to find out more of what we're up to, uh, we're everywhere. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and they're all as Clo Coffee. Um, the community group is on Facebook as well. That's Clo Coffee um, at home. You're not on your own. We've also got some YouTube videos. Um, you can search Clo Coffee there too. So yeah, TikTok. come and see what we're up to. TikTok. <laughs> we're on TikTok. <laughs> and also, if you'd love to buy some coffee off us, just give us a try. We'd love to give you 20% discount on all coffee orders this month. Uh, just use the promo code Pioneer20. Pioneer20. Get 20% off all coffee orders this month. And I'll roast it for you. <laughs> nice to see you. We'll hopefully <laughs> see you all next much. year at the conference. Take care. So a quick update for you on training and theology. Pioneer Core Module 4, Kingdom Orientated, was due to take place in May and Theological Forum was due to take place in July. We recognise that one of the real strengths of both these events is their relational nature, where we spend time talking and praying and learning together over a couple of days. So we decided to postpone the events rather than trying to take them online and we'll be in touch with new dates just as soon as we have them. Now I realise that some of us may feel busier than ever right now. Maybe you're a frontline worker or you're juggling working with home with uh, working from home with caring for children or you're, you're running errands for vulnerable family or neighbours and if you're feeling stretched and under pressure then please feel free to ignore what I am about to say. But some of you uh, may have found that you've got some unexpected extra time and maybe you feel you've got that extra capacity to develop your knowledge and understanding of scripture and theology. So we thought it'd be great to recommend a couple of excellent resources for you. There's a classic book by Gordon Fee and Douglas Stewart called How to Read the Bible for All It's Worth. And if you've never read it, it's well worth getting a hold of. Because it really helps you to read scripture well, uh, it helps you to consider things like literary style and genre and historical and cultural context and so on. But if videos are more your thing, you're probably already aware of the Bible Project, and if you're not, where have you been? But it's a fantastic resource with short videos on all the books of the Bible, as well as the main themes. So check out bibleproject.com. And if you've never really studied any theology and you don't know where to start, there's a nice introduction called Faith Seeking Understanding by Daniel Migliori. Obviously, there are all kinds of authors out there pushing the boundaries of our theological understanding, but sometimes it's good to start with some basic foundations, and Migliori is great for that. And while we're on the subject of books, you might want to check out scribe.com. It's a bit like Spotify, but for books, you pay £9 a month and you can read as much as you like, and there are 30 and even 60 day trials available for free online. And finally, you may want to check out the idea of some more serious study. Westminster Theological Centre have a range of excellent academic courses, all leading to validated qualifications in Kingdom Theology. So check out their website, website at wtctheology.org.uk. And if you're particularly interested in shorter courses, if you go to the WTC resource section of that website, you'll find some shorter online courses that are currently all available for free until the end of June. So hope some of those ideas are useful to you. God bless you and we'll be in touch with the new dates for Pioneer Core and Build. Hi everyone, uh, a huge uh, thank you to everyone who participated in our global wave of prayer uh, back in April and who gave so generously to our international appeal. Uh, it was great to see churches praying from Christchurch and Wellington in New Zealand across Australia and Asia and Africa, up into the UK and across the Americas. It was so good to feel part of a global family. And also we raised just about £30,000 uh, to serve those communities in developing nations who are really been hit hard by this global pandemic. Uh, we've already begun to distribute that, that, that money in the form of a monthly grant to 20 uh, different pioneer churches in uh, Nepal, Sri Lanka, India, Kenya, Zambia, and Cuba. 
And between those 20 churches, we're probably feeding between four and 500 families every month. And we're gonna be able to do that for the next three or four months. Uh, so once again, thank you for your generosity. It's great to be part of the Pioneer Global Family. Breaking news, wildfires is going online. Sunday the 24th of May to Tuesday the 26th of May. Worship, prayer, interviews, great speakers, youth and kids sessions across three days. The kids and youth sessions in the daytime and in the evenings. An hour long session with a great lineup of speakers and interviews and worship. If you love the idea of tribes coming together to contend for the next great awakening, but perhaps you don't like camping, then this is your opportunity. This is your chance to jump in, to get involved and to see what Wildfires is all about. And maybe, just maybe, you so like what you see, you may consider camping in future years. All the details are on wildfiresfestival.com and will be coming out on social media over the next couple of weeks. Be there. Hi everyone. The Hebrew word avoda jointly means to work, serve and worship. The ancient Hebrews would have understood that whether they were tilling the land or singing praises, it was all worship unto God. So whether you find yourselves listening to a worship playlist, dancing upon injustice in your living room, reading and singing out the Psalms, practicing silence and solitude, or taking out the rubbish, doing the chores, working from home, going out to work, looking after the home, eating, drinking, whatever it is, we are to do everything unto the Lord and present ourselves as living sacrifices because that is worship. So from all of us to all of you, 